Hello everyone, welcome to Shredder Zoo. I'm so glad you could join me for this episode. And don't forget, if you are enjoying what you see, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So, last episode we started building the Avery, and we didn't quite finish it. I've been working quite hard to get it finished, and it's almost done, but we are nearly there. Let me show you around, and uh, you can see what you think. Let me just uh, land here and I will look inside and I'll show you what we've done so far. Make sure there's no raptors about. We've had a bit of a rapture problem lately. Or okay. Right, so we have the four. So, um, the, yeah, each individual cage is for a uh, different species of flyer. I've put in one of my Tyrannodons in this one. So I've completed these four. Now, last time I, I had three that were started and I was going to build a bigger one for the Quetzal. But then some people in the comments section said, what about the Pelagornis? And I'd completely forgotten about the Pelagornis. So, yeah, the Pelagornis are going to go in this one and uh, the Quetzal will have to have a separate enclosure. Uh, so, um, you know, probably probably near here but maybe a little bit further off maybe further off that way will he have his own little enclosure um, which is a bit bigger so we can fit in because uh, the Quetzal is really quite big uh, but yeah so each um, has uh, its own way in we can open up and we can go inside so and each one is made up of an octagon of the dinosaur gates and uh, they have the metal railings to make the cage and uh, they have the glass roof and we have the stone um, hatch frame so we can fly in and out with them and uh, everyone is the same like that. Just close that door. So we have another one here. This is where the uh, the Tyrannodons are going to be. So we're going to have the Tyrannodons in one, the Argies in another, uh, the Pelagornis in another one, um, and the uh, Topahara in another one. So uh, we've got the four flyers, four cages, and then the Quetzal we're going to do separately. So each one has its own little entrance, as I said. And uh, yeah, so we need to finish off this roof now. Ah, oh, the resource gathering has been real. It's been, um, it's taken me hours and hours and hours and hours and I still haven't got enough stuff. I've used up everything I have. I need more crystal. That's kind of the, uh, the sticking point here. But I've got a little bit more I can put on the roof, which will get done now. I do have a uh, another hatch frame, which can go all like that. I don't have any doors for it yet, unfortunately. Uh, but I do have some more ceilings. We can just put uh, some more around here. Let's see if I can surround this one. I'm not sure how many I've got. I can't quite see here. But we've got a few. We've got a few. We can get this done. Uh, a little bit more. Another one there. Yeah, and I have noticed that the frame rate is seriously dropping. If I look, if I look over this way, the frame rate drops a lot, and my computer starts making a lot of noise. He can't. He doesn't like it at all. 13 frames a second at the moment here. If I look over this way where there's not a lot, uh, well, there's still quite a bit over this way. See, I'm getting about 20. Let's try and look out somewhere where there is no structures. And uh, yeah, we're back up to over, over 30. So um, yeah, so the, the frame rate around here is, is a little bit harsh. Uh, but you know, we had, to be, we had to expect that really. I'm building a lot of structures around here. Uh, let's just get the last few ceilings on. And then, then uh, we'll talk about what we're going to do in this episode. Um, so this is obviously what something we're going to do, and that's it. I'm out. I am out. I do have. I've got one more hatch room, I think, which I can put on to this one. Did I make one? Yes, I did, and that's going to go like that. These are both female. Are they both female? Oh, they're both female. I was thinking maybe I could uh, breed up um, these guys as well, because it's handy to have utility dinos, ones that you actually use. And then, of course, uh, have ones that um, you're going to put um, in the in the zoo enclosures. Um, because if, every time I want to fly, if I'm going to have to run over, over here to pick up a bird to fly, it's not going to be very convenient. So I'm going to want to have utility dinos, which are going to be over by the main base that I can use. And I'm going to want to have ones on display in the zoo. So I was thinking about um, breeding, doing some breeding. And then you. So you're mating? Yep, they're mating. So we're going to meet these up and um, then we will be back once we uh, laid an egg. Okay, we're back and it looks like we're about to squirt out an egg any second now. Here we go. And we've done it. We have we have our fertilised eggs. So we need to you follow, you follow and then we can disable your wandering. Uh, disable wandering. Where is it? There it is. And you, you can be disabled wandering there and you can unfollow land 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 there we go 
So we have our egg. Let's see if we can uh, grab this. Is it incubating? It is incubating. So uh, we could do it. I'm just going to pick it up and let's move it out into the open a little bit more. And there we go. And then we can uh, drop uh, drop item. There we go. So it is incubating because this is the birthing center. And it's quite nice that we actually uh, bred them in here. But I'm going to need to get some meat. And uh, also something I noticed. You can't eat while on the ladder. Uh, yet if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, whistling, for example... I can eat perfectly well while whistling. Now, I don't know about you, but I reckon that I could eat while climbing a ladder, but I wouldn't be able to eat very well uh, while while whistling. So, uh, well, you never know. Uh, anyway, a little bit of a strange thing. I notice, I notice strange things sometimes. Uh, anyway, so this is about halfway done. It shouldn't take too long at all. How long does it take before we can breed them again? Uh, we can do it again tomorrow if we wanted to, but... Um, Anyway, these two, we've got Harry Adams and uh, Roald Armstrong, a pretty good bird, so I don't know what kind of level this is going to come out at, we're going to have to see. Um, so I've not really done too much uh, breeding, I haven't really needed to, but I thought you know, it'd be nice to get another RG that we can put on uh, in display. Uh, or if this one kind of turns out to be super epic, we can use this one and uh, we can pop one of these guys uh, on display. Uh, Roald, Roald is my kind of powerhouse, he's kind of got 507 melee damage. He's really powerful, but movement speed 105%, he's really, really slow. So you never really want to go anywhere on him. But if you want to kill something uh, nearby, then he's the one to choose. Harry Adams is kind of an all-rounder. Uh, 389 melee damage, 122. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, she's pretty much uh, a well-rounded bird. Um, Amelia Earhart, who's the one we uh, are replacing with this one, who died, she was at the speed. I can't nothing but speed on her, so um, we don't have a speed, Archie. Um, I think I think we just have these two left now. Yeah, do we have another one? I could have sworn I had another one. Maybe I'm just thinking of. Um, I know we had the meteor air heart who died. The three. I thought we had four. Oh well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I lost one. I don't know. I have to, I have to uh, check the, uh, the footage, videos, previous ones. Anyway, I've been waffling on enough. Come on, this must be done very soon. That's gonna be so cool. I'm really, really, really interested to see what this one's gonna be like. Because obviously I have I have pumped the stats on these ones quite a lot, so I'm not really sure what they started out at. But here we go, 173. That's a pretty good RG. We'll accept that. We'll name it later. Let's stick on some uh, some meat. And there we go. So oh, uh, we need to disable wandering as well. Oh, fantastic! Oh, my little baby RGs. The first one I've done for. Oh, I don't know if I've ever bred RGs before, but uh, level 173. Let's check out the stats here. Uh, we have 2,000 of health. 290 melee damage. Uh, I don't know. I mean, seems pretty good to me. And uh, we can actually imprint this one as well. So this one could be our super powerhouse uh, that we tame up ourselves, um, and or you know imprint and uh, use this as our run around. And then we can stick these two guys uh, in the in the display area. We can be exhibits in the zoo. I'm sure they are super happy with that one. And we have to come up with a super cool name for this one, which I'll have to uh, think about later on. Uh, but what I will do is I'm going to um, get this one. I don't actually have a feeding trough in here. None of these guys are actually on the trough. Probably be a good idea to get a feeding trough placed in here. So I might do that in a little while. Let's have a look. I think we're doing okay for food. Oh, there's loads of food there. So let's go and see if I can build a feeding trough now. All right, guys, I've got enough to craft a trough. So we can actually put this down now. Let's put this in here. And um, I guess over here would be a good enough place. This doesn't really matter where we put it too much, really. Uh, we'll stick that down there. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll need to uh, get some meat. And actually, have we got any more berries on you? Did I drop everything? Oh, we've got a little bit of berries here. We'll grab the berries here so that everything else can eat in, uh, in the place in here, like the, uh, the bear and... The uh, Megaloceros will stick that in there, as I guess they probably could be getting hungry as well. There we go, yeah, things are eating. There is eating. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Megaloceros was obviously hungry. Uh, we'll do a little bit of weight there as well. Uh, we could do with some more meat as well. We've got plenty of meat on this now. We've got three minutes before we need some care. Um, so I'll fill up the... Um, oh, my God. Come on, move! Ah. Uh, you know, it would be really nice. I'm hoping at some point in the future... Um, the hitboxes for creatures in computer games will actually match uh, <laughs> what they actually look like. That would be so good. 
Then you wouldn't have to worry about collisions. Oh, it's, it's a dream, a dream for the future. There we go, loads of meat in there, so we'll eat off the trough. And uh, how long have we got now? 56 seconds. Yeah, so we'll see what um, what we need to do uh, in just a moment. All right, guys, three, two, one, and we need oh kibble first one wrapped to kibble wrapped to kibble I don't know I don't even I don't have that oh get out of the way guys I just because I, I haven't got any raptor eggs or anything let's have a quick check um raptor eggs uh, I've got one raptor egg okay okay we, we can we can make kibble from one one egg I don't know how you make raptor kibble oh god uh we don't need these then so we'll take out that, we'll light the fire, that should be everything we need. I think it's just cooked meat, or cooked meat jerky possibly, I'm not entirely sure. But that should be enough, I'm hoping, to make some raptor kibble. We're definitely not going to get 100% on this guy, but um, <laughs> we'll do the best we can. There we go, we've got a raptor egg, that's what we want. Right, I'll sort out the rest later. Let's quickly go and run, and we can... Oh yeah, we need to put this in our last slot like so run 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 okay and then we can feed it yay 18 percent and now we've got 10 minutes for the next one brilliant okay oh panic over so uh, yeah we'll definitely won't get 100 percent but uh, hopefully the next lot will be um simple things like walks and cuddles that's what we're hoping for uh, right, so I'll just put this stuff away, and there was something else I was going to do while I, while we were waiting, and I can't remember uh, what it was now. Um, oh yes, I know what it was, I know what it was. Let's just fill up the water. What I want to do is, um, since we're fixing things, we're fixing up the um, the the aviary, we're building more of the roof and stuff. Um, that's about all I can do right now, um, I'll do the rest off camera. But what I do want to do, uh, is I should have some wooden stuff in here is I've got to make some repairs to the bug house. Uh, what have I got in here? I've only got a, a one sloped wooden roof. I'll take that. I could take these, they might be useful. Uh, one wooden ceiling. Oh, I haven't got as much wooden stuff as I thought. I might as well use that up, even though I don't think the no-clip stuff works anymore, but it doesn't matter. Um, I think, is that all we have? All the wooden stuff? Yeah, okay, well that'll have to do for now. Yeah, there we go. So the uh, scorpion escaped, so I had to break the roof to be able to get it back. Uh, I don't know how it escaped. I think it's something to do with the fact that uh, it rendered uh, in. Um, the, the scorpions render in before the structures do, sometimes when you load up the uh, the area. And um, so we need to fix up uh, the roofs. Uh, is that going to go right? Or how am I going to orientate this? The two different orientations anyway. Oh, I find we'll just have to do that. I, can't, I really can't be bothered with it. Um, so we need we need lots of wood. I, now, uh, what else have we got? We've got the no clip one. Let's use this, even though uh, the mod doesn't work properly, as far as I know. I'm not entirely sure. All right. So and then we've got the spider in here. Oh no, <laughs> I fell in. So we've got the spider. Let's um, oh, let's do a bit of health on the, on the spider there. So uh, we need to build a roof over on this one as well. Um, so what's going on there? That doesn't look right, does it? Look at that. That wall. Hmm. That's interesting. So yeah, so I'm going to get that done. So I'm going to get some stuff together so we can... Oh, hello. You're, you're not one of mine, are you? No. Uh, yeah, so I'll get some stuff together and we'll get uh, we'll get a bit of a roof built um, for the, the bug house. All right, guys. So this is going to be a little bit oddly shaped. There's something... There's there's something I'm, what I want to try and do, and I'm not too sure whether I'm going to be able to get it done. Let's have a look. So I want to get the... Oh, come on. Well, actually, I want this like that anyway. That's pretty good. But I want the sloped roof to go in like that. And can we get in this one? Is it going to be obstructed? That's the issue. Come on. Oh, oh we can do it. We can. We can. Fantastic. Brilliant, that's exactly what I wanted. And then uh, I should be able to get... Well, same on the other side. But what I can do, at least, is get the rest of this side done. And we're out of uh, <laughs> we're out of ceilings. So can I get... Uh, no. Oh. 
Oh yeah, of course. Because oh no, that's fine. I was going to say that they, flat ceilings do not snap to um, slope ceilings, which is really stupid. So you, you have to snap it to the wall like that. But that's fine because we, at least we've done that. So I can get this side built like that. And you know what? I've really I've given up on getting the orientation right. Can't be bothered anymore. Um, but then what I really want is the I need some more sloped roofs. And I don't know how I'm going to get that done. I have an idea, actually. I do have an idea. Right, I'm going to go and grab some more ceilings. And uh, we might need to actually provide some care for the uh, the RG. Is it needing care? Probably not far off. Doesn't look like it needs it at the moment. Not quite. Must be a few seconds left. What have we got? 14 seconds. All right, let's just see what this is. You know what? Let me just grab some more wood while, while I'm waiting. More wood. Right, what do you want? Cuddle. One cuddle. Two, one. Cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. That's another 18%. Let's just check how the stat's doing now. 3,000 health now. 290 many damage. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm liking that one. I'm liking that one a lot. Let's try and get a bit more of this roof done. Because I know what I want to do. It's just a question of whether I'm actually able to do it. So I can get I can get down here, and so I can build these now. So we want the slip roof like that, so that's fine. And I ideally I want exactly the same on the other side. All right then, it is uh, is done. So we've got this. Uh, the, it's a real shame about the orientation, but I just can't be bothered with it anymore. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not that bothered by things like that. It would be nice if it was all the same, and maybe one day I'll get around to fixing it. But I've got so much other stuff I need to do. Uh, you know, I'll probably just leave it like this. And you can see how kind of wacky this is. This kind of doesn't join up here properly. It doesn't join up here properly. But I really don't see how else I can do this. Um, I'm, I must have just placed something in the wrong place, but you know what? I, it'll do the job. It'll do the job. Uh, let's before I go down there, uh, let's have a look at it from the inside. We'll see. I know we've only got the one spider, and I normally like to have more than one uh, thing in the in the zoo. But uh, if you saw the episode where I tamed the spider, it was a complete and utter disaster. Um, we we only managed to get away with uh, with one spider. Um, so one spider is going to have to do. So this is it from the inside. We've got the uh, is slightly higher over here. So eventually, I'm going to need to get another glass uh, or a couple of glass sloped roofs so that they can uh, go over. Um, because obviously, as you go through the tunnel, I want the spiders to be able to crawl over the top of the tunnel, like you do in the um, sea life centres when you go through the shark tunnels, that sort of thing. This is what this uh, whole design is for. So we've got one spider that will do. And again, if you want a spider named after you, let me know, and we can name the spider. Um, but yeah, that's it. So the roof is done. Um, it's not perfect, it is letting light through, which I don't really like, but I don't really know how else to do this. It's, it's just obviously because I've had to do this. I wonder actually, can I risk demolishing... Do I even need to? You know what, I'm not going to risk it, because half the time when you demolish these things, they will um, they'll collapse. And I think, I think that must have snapped to the wrong area, because look, it just doesn't look quite in the right place, and that's probably why everything else is kind of off kilter but it does it works you know what we've got the roof on uh, all we need to do now is get uh, some Arthur Pleura and then we can get the roof on this section and this bug house will be complete but that's gonna have to wait because we are really out of time at the moment uh, this episode is running a lot longer than I was planning it for um, so let's just close that up um, so there's a couple of things I want to do just before we go really uh, we have uh, let's review what we've done. We've fixed the roof over the uh, scorpion part and we've built the roof over the spider part so that's kind of completed and uh, we have done as much as I can today on the aviary. Um, so let me think we have uh, we have an opening Let's put in, we've got our top of Hara in, let's put our RGs in because we're going to want two RGs in here. So I'm going to put in uh, these two. Harry Adams can go in here if I can get her in. There we go, there she's in. So that's Harry Adams. Has she got anything on her that's useful? No, okay, so that's you, 210 level Harry Adams, doing really well. Um, that's going to be a bit awkward closing those <laughs> as you get out, but never mind, we can do that, that's fine. We'll do that later. And uh, so I'm going to get uh, Roald Armisen. We're going to put him in there as well. 
Right guys, I am over by a red tower and uh, there's something I want to do here. I want to uh, download one of my uh, dinos. Let's so download creature data. So these are things I've got. I've got a beaver, I've got an anky, um, you know, I've got these sort of things here. But uh, what I want is this one, the Isabella bird. This is the uh, RG that I had over in um, Scorched Earth. So we're going to download it onto this one. And there she is. So we'll get out of there. Yeah, she is. It's a better bird. Fantastic. That's a little, we don't have a saddle for her, unfortunately. Um, but she is pretty damn good, actually. Look at this. Um, she was, uh, of course, Im imprinted quite highly. So very high health and melee damage. Some decent speed on her. Uh, decent weight as well. So we're going to get her back over to um, to the to the zoo. So we're following. Yes, she is following. So let's get back. And I'll see you when I get there. Alright guys, we are back here and Isabella Bird is back in the base. I've landed her over here. The other two, uh, so um, Roald Armisen and uh, Harry Adams are over in the uh, display area. And we have this guy who is needing care in, or she rather, uh, is needing care in a couple of minutes. Um, so we are just about um, probably the last care that we're going to need to give this RG. Hopefully it's something I can give. What do you want? Tell me. Go on a walk. Brilliant. We can do that. We can walk. Come on in, Argy. Come and have a walk. And I think that's about as much as we're going to get. Are you coming? Here we go. Here we go. She's coming. And uh, yeah, so this is probably about as much as we'll be able to get done. Imprinting 18%. Let's have a look. We'll unfollow you now. And uh, we have nearly 4,000 health there, that's over 4,000, uh, 414, uh, she's turning out pretty good, 92%, I think that's about what we can get, there's one more, but we've got 11 minutes, and I think she's going to mature before we get to that stage, um, so um, I think that's going to be it, I think we've we've kind of run out of time this for this episode, uh, so again, let's just review what we've done. So we've done as much as we can of the um, the Avery. Uh, we've bred up an RG and um, almost perfect uh, imprinted it. It's almost 100%. I don't think we can get any more on it. And we fixed up a bit of the bug house. So we've still got work to do on the bug house. We need to get some master pleura and then that will be finished. We can do that. Um, and uh, I've got a little bit more crystal. I'll uh, say a little bit, a lot more crystal I need to gather up to get the Avery finished. Uh, but we have all our birds on display, so let's go and have a quick look over there. Let's take over Isabella. I did put a saddle on it so we can ride Isabella over. We'll shoot her over this way. And we'll take one more look at our Avery. It's almost finished, just a little bit more seeding left. It's going to take a lot of crystal to do, but uh, I think it looks really, really good. Really happy with that. We'll land up and we have on display, we have our Pteranodons in here. We have our Argies in here. Oh, we've got Negan there as well. And we have our Tobahara in here. Fantastic. So all we're missing really is the Pelagornis. So we need to get some Pelagornis and we need to finish off the roof and this one will be done. And then we can start thinking about uh, the next exhibit. Of course, there'll be uh, an update out um, fairly soon. Um, well, hopefully adding the bridges and so if you saw last episode when I was saying about this area over here which um, I was going to wait until we had the bridges so we could uh, sort of do what I'm, I'm planning on doing for this one so that'll be next yeah I think it's been pretty successful really we haven't done a huge amount of building or anything but I think it's been pretty successful about what we have done so I'm happy I hope you're happy if you did like this video don't forget to leave a like leave me a comment let me know what you think and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, of course, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.